Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, today we're going to open up and make a quick review of uh, Levi's 505 and uh, it normally comes in uh, envelope like this recycled envelope which is nice uh, from Levi's and uh, again I got it. Uh, there's some kind of a promotion. Uh, I got it on the website, on Levi website here in the United States. Uh, so on US website for I think the price was about on sale was 4170 42 bucks um, my size is 3430 that's what we're gonna review and uh, let's um, uh, let's open up and see what's inside um, so the reason why I'm doing this because we have uh, a couple months ago I've done review of 505 LVC Levi's and uh, people ask, oh, why don't you do the just regular? This is very generic, you know, it's not a salvage. Like I said, this is something you would buy in any department stores and uh, uh, let's dive into it. Let's do the details first and uh, I do have, in fact, uh, LVC here uh, for reference and we will compare. So let's just get into details. Like I said, again, the price is about 42 bucks. I mean, regular price, it's about 69.50, but again, that's ridiculous, nobody buy for that much. Um, and uh, I can put a link on Amazon link, um, so we can get it for about 40, 41 bucks. Um, so let's, let's see. Um, the first, uh, first, let's start from the denim. Uh, it's a rinse, the finish. So the, um, this is kind of important. It's not a rigid again. When you buy salvage, you're going to get something like this. So we have just because um, for the comparison, it's hard when you watch the videos on YouTube, it's hard to see the color. This is a rigid. Um, it's just out of box. Uh, Uniqlo and this is from Corabo Mill, about, you know, 13 ounces weight. And you see the big difference because this is actually developed a lot nicer fading. And this is real, real kind of tough, and uh, it, it's real rigid. <laughs> that's what that's what it's called. So you'll see the kind of the grayish tone compared to this one. And uh, this one is uh, LVC 505, and it has been soaked once. It's the one wash, and you still see the difference because this, you, there's a kind of a white clear weft. Uh, you can see underneath the second thread, which you won't be able to see on these brand new ones, hardly see any weft. It, in fact, it's, um, okay, the, the weight, I could, I could tell just, you know, right out of the box, it's, it's a s very thin, you know, it's, I, I wouldn't, it's hardly 12 ounce even, it's super, super thin, uh, you know, the, the first impression is, kind of not not great to be honest i don't think it will hold uh compared to even um uh, you know we've done review previously number 13 by wrangler uh you know mwz and 936 where you have almost 15 uh, ounce denim so this is that's a big departure but again so this is like 40 bucks again but you know uh same for wrangler you can buy about 40 bucks but this is a whole different game um, all the labels, you know, this is just 505 regular. Uh, what people like, this is probably most, mostly like w wide owned uh, pair of jeans, probably after 501. Uh, I think there is a million has been produced and, uh, you know, lately I can see production out of Egypt and Southeast Asia. Uh, like, um, you know, Vietnam and uh, Bangladesh, I don't know, this is, uh, you know, they used to produce in Mexico, for example, this, uh, this is made in Bangladesh, here's a label, and, um, you know, they, you know, I, I bought probably three or four pairs lately, like the mass production, not salvage, and mostly it was like Egypt. Um, so, let's see, uh, well, details is... Pretty typical, you know, five corner, uh, pretty nice size pockets. They're still smaller though. You see the pockets compared to LVC. This is much, much smaller pockets. There is no hidden rivets or anything. It's just 
you know, the Bartox and the polycotton orange. Uh, so, you know, the hardware, uh, typical uh, flat uh, copper rivets here, you know, as we can see uh, the metal, white metal button, and uh, we'll see the typical, uh, there is no, actually, I don't see even, you normally they put a talon on, uh, on a zipper handle or the pull tab, they call it, there is nothing in here, you know, and just a kind of a copper metal uh, zipper. Uh, what you have in LVC, you have slightly different, it has like talon stamp, so which Levi's has been using for years and years, so <laughs> interesting. Yeah, uh, like I said, there's no stamp, there's no UKK or anything. Um, let's see, the inside, just the, the rivets inside, just the white metal and stamped in Levi and Co. Um, so the, uh, uh, also this lining of the front pockets, it's, it's, oh my God, this is like so thin, uh, absolutely, Oh my God, this is just no, um, when, you, when you compare to what you have here, you know, you see this is a real, real tough canvas here, like a cotton. So this one, I'm not sure it's a polyester or something, super, super thin. Um, uh, you know, the chain stitch is nice on the belt. Um, you have typical five belt loops, so, and as well as 501. Um, so, this stitch is pretty nice, a double stitch on the back and on the yoke. Um, the yoke is very traditional with the seam is up here, um, you know, typical arches. And it's actually the same color, um, the polycotton thread, the same orange, you know, orange uh, polycotton thread here. Um, on LVC it's more like yellowish and it's actually different color on arches. Um, so you have also, let's see the inseam. You so inside, yeah, inside seam it's double, uh, pretty nice and tough, um, and uh, single overlocked the, you know, the outside seam. So yeah, I mean, I'm kind of disappointed to be honest. I, I used to have 505. Um, years back, maybe like seven, eight years ago, and it was much, much better denim. Um, pretty much, it was probably even cheaper, not even 40 bucks. But the denim is just, I'm telling you guys, it's totally disappointment. I hardly see, I don't know if you can see it, I hardly see any white weft. It's all like bluish, kind of like, a, and it's typical, it's a cheap sort of a, uh, indigo, like a industrial synthetic indigo, because I know in LVC they add some natural, and this is a whole different story, to be honest. <laughs> this is like, that's why a lot of people ask me, you know, you know, in the comments, why don't you compare? And I, you know, there is no comparison even. This is, this is gonna be just, the, the first of all, when it's not rigid, you're not gonna develop any nice, like, whiskers or honeycomb underneath, uh, so, they're not going to be fading nice. I'm telling you right up front. You need much, much tougher cotton to develop the kind of like a nice fading. Um, okay, so what else? I forgot. Uh, yeah, this is pretty, you know, traditional Levi red tap here on double sided and both. No, actually not. It's, it's just, a, you know, like a reverse here. So, uh, pretty typical. Uh, and the cardboard, so for the patch. In fact, the LVC has also like a cardboard patch, as you can see over here. There is no difference, so, but that doesn't bother me. It's not a big deal. Um, let's dive into fit. Uh, yeah, traditionally, <clears throat> the 505s is super comfortable. That's why a lot of people buying it. It's a little more larger in a thighs by a quarter inch normally. And it's kind of slightly, I mean, it's, it's on the waist, it it's, sits well, but it's normally a little lower front rise than uh, typical 501. So and we can, let's dive into measurements. 
and we'll do it real quick. And again, so I, I'm gonna put I, I'm gonna put them on, and uh, you'll see how they fit on me. Just at the end of this video, I'm gonna put them on, and just so it gives you an idea. Like I'll do like a quick fit video. So right at the end of this post. Um, Okay, let's do the front rise, let's do the waist first. So, like I said, my typical size is 34, um, 30, I usually buy 34 waist. Okay, okay let's do the waist. And uh, normally it's between 17 and a half to, yeah, that's about right. It's, you know, if you line up, you know, back and front, you have to, it's about, it's about 18, which is right, which is correct. The front rise is 12. Yep, it's pretty much like 501s. Normally it's, when I got actually LVC, it was about 11.75. And let's do the thigh, okay. 13, yes, it's a little bigger number because 501s you have about 12 and 0.5, so it's a little wider in the thigh. And um, knee, let's do the knee. You know, it's about 13 inch from the crouch. Okay. Nine, hmm, that's a little wide actually. It's uh, about almost nine and a half. So that's quite, you know, to be honest, I'm a little concerned, it's quite a little wider than it used to be. Normally 505s, it's about nine inches in the, in the, in the knee. And uh, at the hem, let's see, the bottom hem is about eight, which is right. So it's almost like right now, I can feel a little like almost like a taper because knees usually nine inches or below, so this is also a concern. And um, let's do real quick the inside. So the inseam, so it's supposed to be 30. It's not, it's actually half an inch shorter. So that's another thing, guys. Uh, you know, be aware of when you compare length, this is half an inch shorter, it's not 30. So yeah. I think it's the overall I would say all details is fine as far as the stitches and you know um, you know the the hardware uh, but the the denim denim is just god awful honestly so even even like the mass production denims it used to be way way better and I still have even like some old uh, you know, not 505, but I had like a 5 all like older, I would say 10 years older 501s and uh, not salvage, just regular made in Mexico was just beautiful, much better than him, but this is just really, really, it's a major disappointment. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me um, put them back. I'm, you know, I, I want to put them on me and uh, you will see how they fit. Uh, and please, um, you know, post some comments and ask me questions. Like I said, um, uh, you know, there is a lot of, you know, going to be the newer denim I received. We're going to do a review of Uniqlo. Uh, by the way, that's the ones uh, for the next week, which is the Selvage Uniqlo. I was kind of uh, curious <laughs> and never got them, but they look quite beautiful, to be honest, and cheap, too. So... Um, Thank you for so much for watching again, and uh, please welcome you know back next week. Uh, bye. Again, this is 505 Levi's 505, uh, size 3430. Um, as you can see, um, they a little wider in the knee. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's a lot wider than it used to be. Um, I would say almost half an inch, so which is kind of making very kind of a bulky. So I'm 5'9 and normally my size 34. They fit well, they sit on the waist, it's a high rise. Uh, it's, you know, it's pretty much TTS, which means true to the size. 
James, so let me turn around. Um, okay. So the one more thing I want to mention, um, I don't know if you can see, but this outside seam on my right, it's actually twisted. It goes almost on the front, which I hate. I mean, it's not on the side how it should be. So this one is okay on the side. The denim is, it's, I purchased it in finished rings, but it's kind of like color, I really, it's awful. It's all dark blue. You can't really see even this white weft, the white thread underneath. It's just, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't, you know, I you know, pretty much hate it. But anyway, so see for yourself. Um, you know, they might would, you know, shrink after a couple of washes, maybe lengthwise. They usually do, but in the waist, it would be the same if you, anyone thinking to buy the pair. I personally wouldn't, but uh, um, it's up to you to decide. Thank you so much for watching, guys.